What's up guys? As you guys know, I am True Trees. Welcome to today's vlog tutorial, if you would say. I'm going to be teaching you guys how you can actually record Minecraft Pocket Edition. I'm going to teach you guys how I record it, and how I used to record it, and how I kind of upgraded um, for like a better recording session, if you would say. So, before we get to today's video, make sure you guys go ahead and drop a like. Every like means a lot to me, shows your support to my channel, obviously. And also, comment below in the comment section if you guys subscribe to my channel. Uh, because I'm going to try to respond to all you guys and reply to you guys as many people as possible. I know there's only a couple of hours in a day, so I'll try my hardest to find a nice solid hour and just straight up just reply to uh, as many people as possible. So, anyways though. Today I'm going to teach you guys how I record Minecraft Pocket Edition. A lot of people have been asking me a lot of questions on how you can actually do so. And I figured now is the time to give you guys a quick vlog on how to actually do it. It's pretty simple. Um, it might seem a little bit complicated at first. There's some screen recorders um, that I've used in the past. I believe one of them was AZ Recorder. I don't use any screen recorders any longer. It's a little, it's a little more work um, and it's a little bit harder. You can't do exactly what you want to do. So I'm, I'm not going to be teaching you guys screen recorders. Um, that could be for another video what screen recorder I would recommend. But I currently don't use anyone so I don't want to give you guys any like false recommendations of like videos. Like I, I would recommend a screen recorder that I don't use. So the one screen recorder I did use was the AZ recorder. Um, I believe it was on the Google App Store, Google Play Store. Um, but I believe it was Android only. Um, I know there's some other ones out there too so if you guys recommend any other screen recorders definitely let me know in the comments section um, but I'm gonna be teaching you guys how you can record on iOS like an iPhone iPad device as well as an Android device uh, my current setup I do switch off between using my iPhone which is an iOS device and I do use my Android device um, about equal it kind of depends on what video I'm gonna be making for the day but I'll be teaching you guys how you can actually record both of the different devices so first things first what I actually use is this guy I use the Game Capture HD60. Hopefully, you guys can see it. It's the um, Elgato Game Capture. I actually have um, I have two of them. So, if you guys want me to do some type of giveaway of some sort, let me know. By the way, this video is not sponsored. By the way, it's not sponsored by Elgato. Elgato does not sponsor me. So, I just want to get that straight for you guys. But um, yeah. Uh, by the way, though, if you guys are looking for I don't know a good capture card, I know Elgato has them. Um, Hop Hog makes them. I personally like Elgato a little bit better. Um, in my opinion right now, and I'm not sponsored by any company to say exactly what's Elgato I am or why I'm saying I like Elgato more um, I personally just like the hardware a little bit better So if I would choose between a hop hog and an Elgato right now currently Non-biased at all. I would choose Elgato over any other capture card um, in my own personal preference opinion Non-biased. I'm not sponsored. So just just throwing that out there. So I use the Elgato HD 60 this thing works with both Android as well as your iOS device. However, it's super important to know and understand exactly how you set this thing up. So if you guys are wondering what it actually looks like, I have it recommended right here. And this is what it looks like right here. This is the Elgato HD60. Don't mind the, I have a little like, it's like new PC here. Don't, don't worry about that. But this is what it looks like. This is exactly what I use. It's the HD60. I believe there's some other ones that just like, it's not the HD60. HD60 records in 60 FPS. Um, I don't even render a lot of my videos in 60 frames per second. So it doesn't matter if you guys want to get like the regular HD standard Elgato. That would work just as fine too. However, this is the really important part. And this is the really important thing. That before you go out and buy this expensive piece of hardware, you guys need to understand, you guys need to know about what device is able to use with it. So, anyways, if you want to set it up, all you have to do is get an HDMI cord right here and then plug it into the HDMI in, just like that. So once you put the HDMI in, then um, there's an HDMI out, you can put another, like a different HDMI cable in, you plug that into your TV so you can actually see what it actually is displayed. Um, then you want to use this USB cord which comes out of here. I'll make it I'll make some room so you guys can see. So it comes with the Elgato and the USB cord. And then you use the USB cord and then you plug it in, which is this guy right here. You want to plug this USB cord into your computer. And not all computers work with the Elgato. You need to have a pretty strong computer in order for it to actually work. So I don't know exactly, I mean, I don't know what computer you guys have or not, but make sure you guys have a nice juicy computer. It doesn't have to be a crazy, crazy, like really, really expensive top of the line, um, like gaming computer, but it has to be something decent. Um, I, I use a pretty hefty computer for my recording, 
which is this guy. Um, I have some pretty crazy specs. If you guys want to want me to list those, let me know too. Um, but yo, check out this keyboard too. This thing is sick. Um, I'll put a link to this thing down too in the description. It's a uh, Aki, I believe it's called. A key, all key. I don't know what it's really called, but it's an all key keyboard. I think this thing is pretty sick. It's like it's mechanical too. So it's pretty loud when you type it. I like it though. I think it's really cool. So if you guys want to check that out too, I'll put a link in that in the description for that. But anyways, getting back to the whole topic of the Elgato. Um, so once you guys have your HDMI plugs in to your Elgato and your USB plug in your computer, then you have the HDMI in, which is this guy. And this is where kind of like I don't know splits between a um. A, iOS device as well as an Android device. So say for example if I want to use it for an iOS device This is my iPhone. There's actually another adapter that you actually need between your HDMI cable and your iOS device Super super important. It's still pretty expensive. But I think it's like honestly I think it's like 40 or 30 bucks for this thing In my opinion, I think it's a ripoff how expensive this thing is, but this is the adapter you guys actually need to have if you want to record your Elgato or your iOS device with your Elgato. Um, so what I actually end up doing is, I'll put a link, by the way, to everything down in the description if you guys want to like get any of this stuff. Um, or even just kind of like put on your Amazon wish list if you would say. I don't know, just something to think about. So I plug in my HDMI cord into my actual, i got a fantasy football notification here. Um, I put my HDMI cable into this HDMI adapter here. So once I actually can do that, then I can actually put this adapter into your actual iPhone. And I know you're thinking like, what if you have like an older device? This is like a new, a new device, if you would say, like the new. Um, I guess not even like really new. It's just kind of like the the new standard of Apple. It's like this little uh, this like five pixel lightning bolt thing. Um, I actually do have the old one. That works on like the old uh, standard iPads, like the pin one, if you would say. So I have that too. They, they also, they do sell those like the old fashioned uh, ones that can plug into your old like devices too, which still works. I was using that before they actually came out with this guy right here. So yeah. So that's pretty much how you plug it into your iOS device. From there then, then you'll get like a signal on your computer. But anyways, before I get any further, I'm going to be teaching you guys how I use it for my Android device because... Android, all Android devices do work a little bit differently. Um, the one I got is, I believe this is the NVIDIA Shield. Um, if you actually can see this guy right here, it's the NVIDIA Shield. And the reason why I got this tablet rather than any other Android device tablet is because it actually has an HDMI out on it. So it has an HDMI port on the actual device itself. I don't know if you can focus in on that or not. Um, but the reason why I got this tablet and I recommend this tablet over any other device is simply because it has the HDMI out, or out port. So instead of actually getting some adapter or anything like that, I'm going to move my phone over here. Um, so instead of getting an actual adapter for this device, I, I can actually unplug this um, iOS device thing and I can actually plug in my Android device straight with this HDMI cord. So. That way I have my Android device plugged into the HDMI cord, or my HDMI cord plugged into my Android device, and then it goes straight through my Elgato, and my Elgato captures it through the USB to the computer, and then this thing, I can put another HDMI cable right here, and this thing can go into the display, and go, I can actually see on my TV, or whatever monitor you guys are using. So, anyways, I'll kind of show you guys exactly what I use then, um, so once it's all plugged in, all right, so I successfully plugged in my iOS device, or actually my Android device, excuse me, into my Elgato, which is right here. And then I plugged that into my computer. And then I have the HDMI out from my Elgato to this TV. So I can see exactly everything from this, my tablet, will actually go onto that monitor there. So it's super, super, super important that you have everything working out right. Um, there's some other Elgato tutorials, like I won't go any like too depth into detail of how Elgato like capture system works. But then you can see I actually can have my recording device on here with my Elgato so I can see everything that I'm actually capturing. And then I can see it on the TV and then obviously you can see exactly what I'm playing with down there too. So that is pretty much the general way how I actually record. Um, obviously if I was using my iOS device, I would still use the pins and then you'd be able to see exactly that um, it, would, it would record the exact same way as if I was recording my Android device, which is right here too. So. Anyways, that's kind of how I record. It's um, a little bit more of an expensive route. Obviously, I have my computer. I have uh, Elgato game capture. 
um, I have my Android device too. So, I mean, you guys can see it kind of adds up and it's not like, um, it's not just like a screen recorder. It's a lot easier um, to record for me, obviously, and edit my videos if I record like this. But if, say for example, if you guys find a nice screen recorder, I'll show you guys one screen recorder that I actually do like and recommend. So let me quickly go on the Google Play Store real quickly. Once again, I'm not sponsored by anything like this. Um, this is not like a sponsored app video either. Um, it is the AZ screen recorder. This is the one I like. It's, it doesn't require any roots or anything like that. So I'm just gonna quickly download it. So AZ screen recorder is my recommended uh, recommended app, I should say, that I recommend for recording um, on your tablet itself. However, though, it's still a little bit more complex than you have to go ahead and dump your files that you record into your computer and then edit on your computer and then upload on your computer. So I don't know if there's some other ways too. I think you can use Google or YouTube gaming but personally, my favorite preference, obviously, is recording straight through the Elgato here and, and being able to display it on your computer, too. So, I don't know, guys. I, it's kind of just my own preference. This is how I personally record. There's definitely some other ways how you guys can actually capture um, your gameplay on Minecraft Pocket Edition. However, though, that, it's just something that I kind of just come to come to like I don't know, recommend in my in my personal all my years doing youtube definitely going by the capture card to record your gameplay in minecraft pocket edition is definitely the route to go so anyways though um i hope you guys did enjoy today's vlog maybe you guys learned a thing or two if you guys have any more questions let me know down in the comments section i'll try to answer as many questions as possible i know it might seem a little complex so make sure you guys go ahead and go back and rewatch the video if you guys have any more questions on how I personally record. I, I know it's not the only way you can record. You can, there's like hundreds of ways how you can record uh, Minecraft Pocket Edition or how to record any app in general. But that's my own personal preference. So anyways, if you guys want to know how you can actually go ahead and you guys can like get other, um, I don't know, other ways or any other links. I'll put everything down in the description so you guys can go check them out. Go on Amazon and maybe if you have like extra like Christmas or holiday money. Definitely go ahead, swing by, and uh, pick those things up because you guys want to start doing YouTube. Something I highly recommend doing is getting something like that. So, anyways, though, my name is True Trids. Hope you guys did enjoy today's video. We'll catch you guys in another vlog, another video sometime soon. Until next time, have an awesome day, and remember to stay true. Peace. Make sure to subscribe if you guys have not already, and hit the little gear button to turn on notifications. Once you guys do that, you guys will be alerted every single time I upload. Have an awesome day. Stay true. Peace. Bring it back. He got the best bits of all time. Don't be shy. Go and subscribe. Go.